In the lead up to the 2016 Squash World Championships, we're in France now to catch up with the reigning champion. Squash is a really complete sport, very demanding uh, physically. You need the endurance, you need speed, then there's a lot of tactic. It's a really fast sport, so this is what I really like about it. You need to practice a lot uh, to be able to uh, adjust your feet correctly, have the right swing, the right timing. The ball is going really fast. Uh, the fastest hitter uh, hits at 270 kilometers an hour. So you need to uh, take the information really quick. You need to uh, try to anticipate as well what your opponent is going to do. And uh, yeah, you have to analyze a lot. It's uh, really complicated, but you need to really think quick as well. Squash is a dynamic sport requiring a high degree of alertness, especially given the playing surface is on all four walls on the court. This is a typical squash court here. So it's approximately 10 meters long to approximately 6.5 meters wide. Uh, the top line, I think, is about uh, 4 meters high. You've got lines here on top, the top line and here. So the ball during a rally can never be above this line and can not never touch this tin. You're allowed only one bounce, but you can also volley the ball. So if I play, I can have one bounce or I can volley. In between uh, each uh, shot you hit, you try to come back close to the T line because this is the center of the court and this is where you have to try to uh, stay the most of the time to, if you want to dominate the rally. The main aspect of a squash player is explosiveness and to be endurant in explosiveness because matches can last uh, up to two hours. So you have to be quick for two hours and then the rest is mainly cognition where uh, you need to treat as many uh, informations as possible in a very short amount of time. I think if you want to perform and be the best, every detail really counts. So it can be on the squash court, off court. I do a lot of weights to reinforce the muscles, not to get like big muscles, but like to get enough strength because we do a lot of lunges. It's important to have a, also a strong core to also protect your back, but uh, to be able to rotate quick and, and hit the ball uh, as hard as possible. I'm doing a lot of drills on the court as well to uh, be able to play as close as possible to the side walls to not give any angles to your opponents. The difference with, say, table tennis or tennis is that it's two players battling for the same territory and we play with the four walls. So you have to use all the, the lines that the players can actually play and be able to read these, these lines in like a very short period of time. When we play, it comes to like that, uh, that much, you know. So we do a lot of repetition uh, drills uh, during the training to be able to get uh, the right control, the right feel uh, before uh, going to the tournaments. Last year, Gautier reached the pinnacle of his career when he was crowned squash world champion for the first time. So winning the World Championship uh, was the biggest thing in my life, in my career. I lost uh, four previous finals in the past and I managed to uh, finally uh, get that trophy and it was like uh, pure relief and uh, a lot of happiness for me, for my uh, team who's been working for me for so many years. He's been chasing this title for, I would say for about 20 years and uh, what made him a world champion is probably his obsession and his dedication. He's got what it takes, to be honest, to become a world champion, and uh, I think he's got, he's got the capacities to do it again. I think trying to defend a title is uh, bring you uh, pressure, but maybe a good pressure, because as I've uh, reached uh, what I wanted already, I'm a more relaxed uh, player than in the past. At the end of the day, I've got uh, experiences of uh, winning and of losing it and uh, I know uh, what it takes to, uh, to win an event like this now. <laughs>